And lots of East Texas students already have gotten back to that classroom, but not everyone. Two Ukrainian students who fled from war in March are starting a brand new year inside an American classroom. Our Sean Delmanis sat down with them to hear how they're getting ready. Luba Vinik got a taste of American school in April after leaving Ukraine with her mom and brother that's sitting beside her, Gleb. She says it was a smooth transition, but Wednesday will begin her first full year as an eighth grader at the Brook Hill School. It's a difference, yeah. About those differences, Luba says Ukrainian school and American school have plenty of them. She likes the food in schools here better. In Ukraine, they don't really care about the food. A typical Ukrainian student lunch has three courses. The first course would be beet soup. The second course would be fried chicken wings with pasta or potatoes. The third course is hot tea. On their first day back at Brook Hill, these two will get their choice of black-eyed pea soup, chicken breasts, hot dogs, mac and cheese, and or roasted cauliflower. I'm not sure which food I prefer. He says the deadlines here are stricter in class. Ukrainians don't check homework as much as Americans do. I got like so many zeros at the start of the year. The brother and sister duo are at odds about the teachers. Luba says they're nicer at Brook Hill, but Gleb. I think it's kind of the same. Uh, the only difference yeah. is yes. It is worth noting that they went to public school in Ukraine and Brook Hill is private. With the dangers of war behind them, a full school year waits Wednesday morning. In Flint, Shandel Moniz, CBS 19.